Year's resolutions? Or should that be New Year's goals? Happy New Year 2023. Every year, as the new year comes around, people tend to get into that frame of mind where they think about what they've achieved that year, and what they haven't achieved that year, and what they would like to achieve in the coming year. And then they make ill-fated, destined-to-fail New Year's resolutions. Why not New Year's goals? Okay, so what are we dealing with? Some definitions for you. A resolution is a firm decision to do or not to do something. A goal is the object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or desired result. So that's what the words mean, but what do they really mean in real terms for real people in the real world? Well, if you make a firm decision to lose weight, for example, then you might start exercising or eating more healthily, or drinking more water, or sleeping more regularly, or any combination of these, and indeed you would probably begin to lose weight as a result of your well-intentioned efforts. So you might carry on until maybe you get bored of it, or you get fed up with it, or you don't have time, or you simply forget, or whatever, you get the gist. Technically, by this point, you made your resolution and you kept to it. You made a firm decision to lose weight, and you more than likely did actually lose some weight. But how much weight did you lose? (laughs) Who cares? That wasn't part of the deal, was it? However, if you make a goal to, for example, lose 10 kilos, yes, we're using the metric system, kids then that is a very different scenario altogether. Now you have a desired result, something concrete to aim for, and so you need to plan a little. How do you go about losing 10 kilos? Is it better to exercise or change your diet? How long does it typically take to lose 10 kilos? And you'll have to keep some sort of record of what you need to do and how you're getting on. And you will eventually lose 10 kilos. If you stick to the plan, that is. You see, New Year's resolutions are, by definition, destined to fail. According to Bloomberg, gym memberships more than double in January. But fall off the wagon day usually comes around sometime in mid-February. But when you set yourself realistic goals and they must be realistic, you are much more likely to follow through with them. And you can break those goals down into smaller, more manageable goals. Exercise for 10 minutes a day in week one, and then make it 15 in week two. Whatever, I'm no fitness expert, but you get the idea. The point is, don't make resolutions, they get you nowhere. Set yourself goals. And write them down. It makes them real. Oh, oh, and tell people about them. It makes you more accountable. And that's it. I think there's probably more. Is there more? Probably. Probably. What a funny word. Why not probably? There's probably more. Much easier to say than probably.